Bob, I don't think I heard a player or a coach say the word Pasadena or BCS. Of course, that's where they'll play the BCS National Championship game in Pasadena a week after the Rose Bowl. There's just way too much at stake here at the Big Ten title game Saturday in Indianapolis. I mean, that's where it's all decided. you got to win that game to advance. So first things are truly first right now. The unbeaten coach of the Buckeyes gave it no weight during his Monday media briefing. For me, I'll, I'll have a comment on Sunday. I mean, we, we, we play a game, you know, and for someone to ask about something after this game, I mean, that's, a, that's cheating my football team, and there will be no conversation about what happens after this game until after the game. I mean, we got to go watch the Michigan State's defense and see if we have any comments about something after this game. Auburn's upset shook the college football world to its knees Saturday night and gave Ohio State new life. The Bucks are number two in the BCS and should be able to secure a spot in the national championship game with a win over Michigan State Saturday night for the Big Ten title. I think it's great now that you put it that way. I think it's fantastic for the Big Ten uh, to have this showcase, to, to have two top ten teams, like you said, that are undefeated uh, in conference play. Being divisional champions is a great accomplishment, but to, to be the outright Big Ten champions and ultimately have a chance to be in a great bowl game is phenomenal. When you hired him, did you see 24-0 in the, in the Crystal Bowl? No, I wish. if I did that, I'd be like Steve Jobs, I guess, but no. Uh, you can't talk about the big one without winning the Big Ten Bonanza on Saturday night. Tenth-ranked Michigan State would certainly love to spoil the Buckeye party.